Hey, Liam, you got a second? Huh? No, not huh. I'm your boss. Maybe act a little concerned when I talk to you? What is it? I can talk a little more carefully, but it's kind of weird to talk like I'm concerned when I'm not concerned about anything you have to say to me. <laughs> you need to be careful. I've been at this company for a lot longer than you. I'm seriously tired of all these boomers who are acting like they're so amazing because they've worked here for so long. So, what is it? There, are you happy? I'm concerned. And keep it short if you don't mind. I'm your direct boss. And so as much as I don't want to, my job is to manage you. About your attitude. A lot of other employees are really enjoying your attitude, and some are even complaining. It's not just freak complaints, either. There are quite a few. I'm really hoping you'll change your behavior. What? What are you talking about my attitude and behavior? When we're having a conference with Global Pair United, you're acting pretty terrible towards the other company's sales rep. When you behave like that, you put our company and our jobs on the line. You came into our department earlier this spring, but we've been working with GPU and their sales rep for quite a long time now. Please, be on your best behavior and try not to be rude to him anymore. What? I didn't do anything wrong. That clown graduated from some no-name college. And yet here he is with a second-rate degree. Coming to presentations with a huge corporation like ours, I'm actually impressed that he has the audacity to do that. <laughs> I just told him how I really felt about him. I'm sure he didn't have an understanding of the items he was actually selling. So I just tested him a little bit. Yeah, and the sales rep was answering your questions with no flaws. That person works really hard. We actually have reviewed him and told his company that we love him as our rep. Because of that man, we were able to enjoy our fresh supply of pears, so please do not act like that in front of him again. You're really texting me that right now? You must have had a lot of free time on your hands. <laughs> when I try to talk to you in person, you scurry away like a child. Oh, come on. I wasn't running away. You always just come and talk to me right as I was about to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's not my problem. Because how could GPU even send us a low-life, poor-educated man? That company must be pretty rotten. They should go under and take their stupid pears with them. You better cut it out. After looking at how you've been working, it's pointless to talk about their education background. Huh? You literally didn't even go to college, Steven. <laughs> and here you are telling me who went to a huge college what to do. You're going to tell me what to do? You really should rethink your actions and what they mean. <laughs> I just told you it's not about educational history or background. Uh, look, let me tell you. The only person who can talk about educational background and history and how none of it matters are people who have a good educational background. In other words, you, Stephen, can't tell me anything about education. Capiche? Don't act like you're so damn special just because you started working here sooner than I did. <laughs> Besides, I'm not like you and the other grunts. I'm the executive manager's son. My mom is the CEO's niece. I was promised an executive position when I started working here. I'm not like you who's gonna be used up like a company pawn and eventually disappear into some random third-rate company. We're completely different animals, you and I. Now, if you understand that point, please shut up and support me without any more complaints. <laughs> so what? You're my boss, and I answer to you. I'm going to be giving you orders real soon. So you better start kissing my ass for your own good. I'm just giving you some advice, some common sense. I wish you'd use that brilliant brain of yours before you do anything. Why are you acting like you're so smart? You work some dead-ed management position with no college degree. Don't tell me what to do. I was born elite. Do you understand me? I'm not like you, Steven. You need to stay where you belong and act accordingly. You just support your elite overlords. <laughs> are you sure you should be talking like that? What? 
After you left earlier, we were all talking about something in the office. What? You really don't know, do you? The executive manager is being accused of sexual harassment and adultery. What? Uh, what are you talking about? My dad would never do such a thing. Apparently, one of the new hires spoke out about it. HR is doing their research about it. Apparently, he's been quite interested in a lot of the new hires, and now they're about to punish him because there are too many complaints. What? There's no way. The CEO is pretty ticked off, too. He was angry that he would use his position of power or to abuse newly hired women. My dad wouldn't do that. And the person who was spurring on the new hires to spend time around your dad? Yeah, that was you, wasn't it? Huh? What are you talking about? You would call up the newly hired women and had them talk to your father on purpose, right? He's, he's kind of a piece of work, to put it nicely, too. But you're also kind of a piece of shit, huh? Uh, you don't even have any proof of that. Don't start talking trash. I was asked by my father to give special instruction to the new hires. I just asked them individually while in private. I figured that since my father was calling them up, that they would be really nervous. I just acted as a middle-aged man is all. So, you're gonna take the stance that you don't know at all? He hasn't done any kind of sexual harassment. He's my dad. You realize that over 10 of the female employees have all grouped together to file for sexual harassment, right? You're kidding, right? Yeah, the executive manager? He's gonna be screwed. That's not true. Mom would never believe that crap either. I'm the son of my mom who is the niece of the CEO. My status doesn't change. I hope so, for your sake. <laughs> what? What do you mean? This whole thing. Apparently the CEO is on a punishment as well. What? Apparently a lot of the executives are going to be cleaned out. There's no way that's true. Stop spreading false rumors about this. Maybe you should go home. Talk to your parents, the source of all this, right? This is all I can tell you about this anyway. I gotta go talk to HR about how you've been working anyway. How I've been working? Why? I told you, I was your direct manager. Yes, yours truly. The guy with no college degree. This whole sexual harassment thing has brought your termination or suspension as a potential course of action, so I was called up to to report on your regular workplace behavior. I finally get to give a detailed review. My workplace behavior? Wait a second. I worked hard every day, right? I did what I was told to. I worked harder than anyone else in the office. I mean, you did work fairly hard, but I've warned you time and time again about your behavior. But you've never gotten better. You almost ruined our relationship with one of our oldest clients. I remember the whole conversation that took place with the GPU sales rep. I don't think I can let that kind of thing fly. I told you about it and warned you as a sort of final warning, but apparently it wasn't useful at all. What are you going to report about me? For starters, is that really how you should be talking to your boss? Uh, sorry, sir. Please don't say anything bad in your review. I would have a really difficult time finding another job if I'm fired. Yeah, I know. Before you're able to start work here because of your connections. You couldn't find a job at all. You were a uh, need for two years, right? How the hell did you know about that? I, I mean, uh, how did you hear such a thing, sir? I know about my employees. It's pretty incredible, really. You went to such a prestigious university but couldn't find a job. I think that's actually pretty tough to do. I don't want you, who never went to university, to tell me how difficult it was, sir. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. It has nothing to do with educational history. I am literally your boss. <laughs>
I wanted to leave a good review for you, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Sorry about that, Liam. What? Hang on, please, hang on a second! I'll apologize for everything I've done up until this point. Please don't talk to HR and tell them all the bad things about me. I'm sure the thing with my dad is some kind of mistake. And once we can prove that, I think everything will just go back to normal. Can you just hang on a second? I don't need to wait. No matter what happens to the executive or the CEO, what I can do as your boss is report exactly what kind of attitude you had during your work hours. Hang on a second, I'll be more careful with how I talk to people, and I'll make a formal apology to the sales rep. I finally found a girlfriend! When I told her that I worked here, she seemed to really think highly of me, so I really don't want to quit this job. I really don't want to lose this girl! I don't really care about your private life. I even have a family, too! I even have a girlfriend right now! How could you abandon me like that? Maybe you should think about taking care of your employees. Do you have any kind of mercy at all? Or is it just because I went to a famous university? You must be some kind of jealous, huh? I don't really care about your college at all. <laughs> Everyone you've been taunting up until this point, me, the sales rep from GPU, we all have families too. Everyone you've ever looked down on and treated accordingly have important people in their lives. You really shouldn't have focused on your parents' title or some kind of education you paid your way through. You should have focused on your personality instead. Well, I didn't know you for long, but goodbye. Hang on, I'm treating you with respect. Feel special. Yeah, that's incredible. You don't mean that at all. Yeah, you're kind of just a bother at this point. I'll talk to you once you're at work. If you still have a chance to talk, that is. After that incident, a lot of different crimes started showing up that the executive and his son were involved in. The executive cabinet were all being swapped out. Liam was able to avoid being prosecuted, but as a result of the honest reporting from Mr. Stephen, he was going to be moved away to a factory that was far from corporate. He started working as a sales rep there and ended up stumbling into the sales rep from GPU. He tried to apologize, but because of Liam, the relationship with GPU was pretty bad. The factory had closed down as a result. It's important to treat everyone you come across with respect, no matter who you are or who they are.